Hello, hello. So this video is a demonstration of Zion ships. Uh, I did one previously, which was just for a command line. Uh, and now we've pretty much finished the, the front end. We outsourced that and somebody's pretty much built it for us now. So Zion ships is a, a tech demo to demonstrate game channel technology uh, on the Zaya platform. Um, game channels are uh, one of our solutions for scalability issues with, with blockchain. Uh, and the other one being the way that we compute the the game states of the of the games. So basically, the way that we do it, we, it's possible to have completely fully decentralized, uh, really complex, massive game worlds with, with thousands of players. And that is what we're doing on one of our other projects, Torion. So game channels are um, you could say similar to payment channels on Bitcoin, and also similar to state channels on Ethereum. And the difference. Uh, being is that the game channels don't have many of the the drawbacks that we've that we've seen with state channels. One of them, for instance, is when um, uh, you're playing a game, you can just close the channel uh, when you want, uh, and that doesn't work for some games. Like for example, if you're having a game of chess, um, closing the channel in the middle of a game. Um, you know there isn't a clear winner if you do that you know you could say if you've got less pieces or whatever but that doesn't mean mean much in a, in a game of chess um so and the same with with battleships which is the um example i'm going to show you now um so yeah essentially game channels allow for uh real-time gameplay whilst being trustless uh, and decentralized and um preventing or reducing like blockchain bloat massively um, so like the way it works is you basically put a transaction in the blockchain to join a channel and then everybody else can um, anybody else can then join that channel uh, by doing a transaction to the blockchain and then once you're in the channel you can have uh, like unlimited transactions between each other in real time w without you know putting any any data on the blockchain there is something called a dispute which you can do as well um, so if somebody stops responding or um, somebody um, lies about some moves or something like that, then you can do a dispute on the chain and uh, and then, yeah, you can basically solve it that way, resolve it through the blockchain. Um, now, if people still have got a connection between each other and someone does a dispute, you can just carry on the game in real time like as if nothing's happened. Um, you know, like if one person's pretending he never received the move or um, maybe he did just go to the toilet and now the other person didn't dispute and when he gets back he can just do his move and you don't have to wait for that transaction to get mined in, in the chain to actually continue the game and um, that will just get mined in the background. So um, I'm just going to show you now like a, this this demo, um, uh, the tech demo of Torian like with the front end, I mean not Torian, Zaya ships. Uh, so what I've got here is I've got um, in this window here uh, is just uh, uh, the Unity front end for Zaya ships running on Windows, and then over here we um, have have it for Linux uh, on Ubuntu. So this is actually on another machine running on a VM on another machine. Um, so we just connect that one up. This one's already up to date. Um, Actually, I'll go through the settings here. So the settings what we have here is just connect to the Zaya wallet. Um, so it's currently connected to a full node running on this machine. But we have finished the Electrum wallet, which um, is uh, like semi-decentralized. You don't have to sync the blockchain or anything like that. And that just works just the same. And here we have the IP of the, the GSP, the Game State Processor, which computes all the, the, the moves on the blockchain into um, like the state of the game. So this is where what tracks like the leaderboard and who's won and all that sort of stuff in that all provably fair. Um, so what we do is we want to run the GSP locally on this one. Uh, you can't see that it's it's brought up a command prompt, which is just uh, synced really fast. You would have seen these numbers going up if I had a press submit sooner. Um, so we can choose our name in here to play. Uh, I'll just choose this one. Bob, you can also create a new one. So th they are... Um, uh, these are human readable names which are uh, like accounts on the Zaya blockchain um, and uh, you could say like a coloured coin or a locked coin 
and as I am the only person with the private key to these names, I'm the only one who can change their values. So these work perfectly for accounts and uh, the, the technology we can, we take we taken it from Namecoin, which is a project we also uh, uh, voluntarily lead. Um, the use case was for decentralized domain names. So like on Namecoin, you have um, like a different namespace where we've got p slash to use a different namespace and that's they are associated with domains like andy.bit and um, if you have the correct software you can use namecoin as a decentralized dns you can also do the same with, with zaya as well but that's not its purpose so I can enter the, the game so you should see hopefully yeah both of those um clients now open uh, so the first thing you do is create a channel so anybody can do that now this gets you have to wait for this to get mined in um, in this front end and when it does get mined the other player will see this channel you can see there's already one there waiting waiting for someone to join um, and you just join the channel uh, but as we uh, at the moment the front end it doesn't monitor the memory pool uh, or pending transactions so this bit is actually quite slow because we do need to wait for it to get mined but that's just a, a trivial thing which we we could add in future if we think it necessary so we do have to, to wait in the in the current front end so the transaction i've just done to create the channel will get mined soon hopefully and then we can join it on the other one and we also then need to wait for that to get mined so you can see the block number up here so hopefully when the next blocks get next block gets mined that transaction will be in the block so this one is a, a bit of a slow block okay there it is so we'll join that one so I can see on this one I can actually close the channel as well um, or close the one that I've attempted to open but um, yeah we, we want to join it just to show this example yeah so the blocks on on Zaya are every 30 seconds so not as fast as some other blockchains um, but yeah that's uh, a choice that that we've made the blockchain is secured by proof of work and it's merged mined by Bitcoin miners we currently have about 15% of Bitcoin's at mining hash power mining the SHA-256 algorithm um, and also a lot of GPU miners mining the NEO script part of the algorithm but that's for another time and another story uh, so the first thing you do when it when it starts so like now we've opened a channel between each other is to position your ships so you can position them like that you can rotate them and they also uh, can't be next to each other like this if I put one like that it says that that's not a valid position so I'll just move it there and then submit that um, you, you, although it says your turn here both people can both players can start um, submitting their uh, positions without waiting for the other person so we'll do that okay so once you've both submitted your move um, moves the uh, positions the person who goes first is randomly chosen and that's provably fair using a commit reveal scheme to um, see who actually is the first person so that is fair of who goes first it is like completely truly random um, so it's this person's go first so what you do is you just double click on one of the places like this and that's a miss so all these transactions now going between each other like I do on this one as well oh better press in the right place you can see that this instantaneously uh, happens on the other side okay that was almost intense so it's not a slow VM uh, but it is like real time so Oh yeah, so in this game as well, difference to normal battleships, or maybe it is part of some rules, if you hit, you actually get another go. 
So you can see I've hit those ones. Um, and as you can't be adjacent, you would know that these ones around here would not be um, uh, a ship, unless that one's uh, like got three spaces, um, taking up three squares or four. Uh, but as I can see on here on the Linux side, it, had, it did only have, it is only a small boat. But I will just choose this one anyway to show you a miss. So we'll keep going. That's a miss. That's a miss. So all these transactions are not happening on the blockchain. They're actually in this game channel. So this is basically real-time gameplay. And this game, Battleships, can, template can be used for much more complex, fast games. Um, I mean, there's millions that you can that you can think of, but you can imagine, you know, um, people that say blockchain doesn't work for gaming, it's not scalable, you can't play proper games. But with this, you can have, you know, you the limits are um, there are no limits, pretty much. So try that one. You can see it's all real time. So what I'll do now is I'll. I know where the ships are on the other one. I'm just going to hit them all and just show you what it's like when you win. And again, this is all trustless and decentralized. We are using a, um, like a relay uh, server, broadcast server, where they are actually communicating to. But that part of the the code in the library um, is all modular, so you can use XMPP or a direct connection between the peers, or whatever method you want to communicate um, to the other node, or the other player. So that's it. So I sunk all his ships, and you can see the game's finishing with one. So the leaderboard, which is part of the global game state, is is tracked for everybody and cannot be faked. So this is like a true leaderboard, even though these results are just like from a lot of testing and things so that's it um when the next block comes in um the client who whoever won will send the transaction with proof that that they won to the blockchain and when it gets mined uh, it will affect this leaderboard score so my name was bob one one so it was two one there and uh, now it's uh Three two, so I played three games, and one two. So that's it. Uh, Looks simple. The game's not meant to be fun. This is a tech demo uh, for developers to rip apart, and we are working on a lot of other things as well. Um, our next attempt at a real-time game may be something that is what people might consider real real-time, um, like something like Pong or something like that.